y realmente es otro mundo, es como una burbuja. Sí, las cosas han cambiado. Porque la última vez que hicimos la entrevista, había la bookshelf aquí. Ahora estoy en el back. Tenemos tantos sofás ahora. Marta Domena, and I am originally from Madrid, but I just lived there one month of my life. And then my parents brought me to El Prat, which is the city next to the airport in Barcelona. And I studied double degree in Elizava, the same university where everyone in this place studies. We met practically everyone uh, that is also in this project we call um, Zero Society or Sociedad Cero in Spanish. We are 13 of us at the minute. Seven guys, boys, and six girls. We are all either designers or engineers or both, or well, students, not graduated. Only one of us or two of us. Only two of us have graduated of university already. We share this passion for creating, and we felt that we could do that in university, but the limitations were really high. We were restricted to do certain projects. We felt I don't know, anxious about doing, we felt we had to do as inhabitants of this world and, and today's society. Me llamo David Aro y ahora estoy acabando de estudiar ingeniería y diseño en Barcelona. Vine aquí en Barcelona pues precisamente para estudiar, ¿no? pero yo realmente soy de Andorra. ¿Por qué este experimento? No? Pues esta nueva generación de, de de, de jóvenes que, que está pasando en Barcelona, pero en Berlín también está pasando. Hubo un tiempo donde Nueva York también pasaba mucho y en Londres también. Pues entendemos de alguna forma que las bases y las metodologías de estructuras sociales que se habían establecido hasta ahora han fallado. Nosotros hemos vivido, nuestros padres han vivido, hemos visto a nuestros padres y nuestros padres han vivido en unos contextos donde la economía funcionaba de una forma concreta, las relaciones sociales funcionaban de una forma concreta, la familia se entendía de una forma concreta y hemos visto que esto no funciona. Hemos visto que las estructuras económicas basadas en el consumismo han colapsado y ha habido una crisis muy importante financiera a nivel global. Y todo esto nos ha hecho pensar que tenemos o que podemos estructurar nuestra existencia de una forma distinta. ¿Sabes lo que digo? O sea, la compra no común de todos se coge del bote, dices. Pues ahora yo... Lo que vamos a compartir todos. Nuestra parte de la compra común también tendría que ser cogida del bote. Yo ese bote lo guardaría para otras cosas. No, 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 no digo de ese bote. O sea, yo lo que digo es, al, al mes nos sobra... En principio nos sobrará pasta, ¿vale? Esa pasta... Eh, bueno, nos sobran casi 650 pavos al mes, ¿vale? Para pagar luz, agua... O sea, para largo, pero a mí me encantaría, antes de constituir cualquier cosa, saber qué derechos y qué obligaciones tenemos nosotros como sociedad. No. Bueno, pues para pues la gente Sociedad Cero, for me, started when I met Ignacio Escurra, who is one of the guys that's also living here. So he asked me to join, and obviously I said yes. So before this summer, we're talking today, it is 11th of November 2016. Um, I think but at the end of June, he said, I've, I've started looking for places. And I was like, what, already? I was, I mean, it was a big project and we do projects in university, but they're never real. We never come to make them. So all of a sudden, this crazy guy just said that he had already been looking for a place. Um, then I spent my summer away, when he came back, Ignacio had already talked with the owner, had everything set up and I came in like, okay, now this, this is getting serious, we're going to have a space and we're going to be 14 of us or 13 of us surviving in, in, in this place. Um, I came here for the first time once we had rented the space. So we paid for it and everything and then I came in and I, I was amazed. <laughs>
son, estamos haciendo como mini experimentos. Por ejemplo, no vamos a tener nevera, no queremos tener nevera de alguna forma. Esto se tiene que acabar de hablar, ¿no? Pero eh, hay una intención por parte de unos cuantos de no tener nevera. Esto es una tontería, pero muestra parte del experimento. Es decir, vivimos y hemos nacido en un lugar, en un mundo donde teníamos ya muchas cosas a nuestro alrededor y muchas normas y muchas fronteras. Pero ¿son lógicas estas cosas? ¿Son lógicas estas fronteras? Pues queremos intentar experimentar para, para limar estas fronteras y, y al final bueno, verlo todo desde perspectivas un poco distintas. Space-wise, it has changed um, a lot. At first, we wanted to find a distribution that kind of worked for us as a big team of people living and working and creating a project. Uh, but then we kind of saw that we didn't want to help settle down and have the same things in the house in the same place. Like we are moving the kitchen all the time. Uh, we are moving the wardrobe all the time and we need this change and we want this change. So at first it was a bit, let's have the kitchen here. Then we moved on to why are we having the kitchen here? And now it is like we don't always have it, want it in the same place. So it is constantly changing. I'm doing something uh, experimental with textures and it's going to be like a mix of, of different, um, different, uh, different material. So I, I started with a, a little one over there and, and now I'm, I'm doing this one in big to put it on the, on the background for the, um, uh, for the exhibition. Bueno, pues en realidad hoy es una exposición, como veis, y yo creo que es una iniciativa muy interesante. Se llama Noche de los Jueves y lo, realmente el, todo el mérito es de Juan y Max y yo, que son un poco los que lo han organizado más. Pero es muy interesante como la síntesis de, 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 de esto porque es hacer cosas, ¿no? Y en realidad la noche después consiste en quedar unos cuantos eh, a las 6, 7, 8, 9 de la tarde-noche, cenar juntos, ir a recoger basura, desechos, materiales, mmm, pequeños tesoros, ¿no? Que a veces te sirven como para hacer grandes cosas, ¿no? Wow. Vuelves aquí con todos los compañeros y empiezas como a construir y siempre hay una temática, ¿no? Eh, y lo organiza bastante Juan. La temática pues puede ser pues prótesis o instrumentos musicales o habitar el espacio y se crea o cada vez exquisito y se crea bueno cada uno tiene que hacer un proyecto, una construcción, una síntesis, una sincana eh, con los materiales que ha cogido y tienes una noche para hacerlo y se termina a las 6 de la mañana. Es 
un mediodía o qué? Desde las 3 y tal. No, eso es yo. This is happening, and it's it's insane yeah. that this is happening. I mean, yeah. so many people would want this to happen. You know, some where someone say you, oh, I have a friend that have a friend that have a cousin that have a parent that they live in a factory. You know? Yeah, That's yeah, yeah. These kind of things that happen but never happen, but here it's it's, it is it's a reality happening. Yeah, exactly, it's, it's real. I hope that uh, it will be an example for another uh, people, another communities, or and to to improve this kind of movements. Now, I think that we need this kind of movements because world is a place, is a inhospitable place, and is so uh, difficult to to connect people, no, in our days. And I hope. And you're that proving otherwise. You're proving that the connection is there. Yeah, it just yeah, needs yeah, a place yeah. to, to, to happen. That, that's the point. And I hope that it will be an example for another people and another, I don't know, in another country. So I, I hope. I think it is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Muy bien. First of all, uh, Marta Turu, she left the place and uh, because she was also, from the beginning, she, re uh, she wasn't really like into it. And then Marta Gondenauer, she started working with a, a colleague, well, a domestic, which is like a, also a, well, you a design studio, yeah. they work with that and they work really, really hard. So she found out that she didn't have and she also started dating one of the, the companies, so she was just like, I don't have time to come here and I, I feel bad that I, 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 can't, I can't be here. So she left and this morning Jorge also went to his parents' uh, parents' home. all my stuff uh, from this warehouse we live in now uh, called Sociedad Cero in Barcelona. Uh, I think it was for nine or ten months that we started a project which was really good but now I feel kind of that the, our time arrived or my time arrived and I'm moving out. Uh, I was graduated from my degree 
just one month or one month and a half ago. And Nave was really good for summertime, but I felt like other things, like probably I wanna I wanna go out my country, Spain, and just try to find a job elsewhere. And I have all my books here. I'm gonna show them. <laughs> well, and pictures and this. But I just have them inside this box all the time I was living here. <laughs> so I didn't take them out. But it's just so heavy. So shit of things. My door. I think I'm gonna wait a bit. At least till tomorrow because I have to spend it and one night more, you know, for having a bit of privacy. <laughs> it's just mental privacy because hello, you know, <laughs> if I close here, <laughs> but at least I'm just closing a door. Yeah, it's hard. And it's, yeah, as you said, like some stuff that you were taking and then for example, okay, this is a bottle <laughs> of mezcal, which it's, uh, Kind of tequila from Mexico. It's like okay, nothing. You know, I can survive definitely without this. But still, I don't want to take it out. I don't want to leave it. But at the same time, okay, should I take it and put it in my mom's place for maybe one year or two years, and take that space of my mother, <laughs> just because I don't want to leave this? I don't know. It's not about I'm. I'm moving to another place that I will stay, you know, and I won't, I, I know I'm gonna start again. It's about moving, knowing already that you're gonna, not gonna stay more than two or three months in that place. So it's like, okay, I'll box everything again. <laughs> and this time I'm not gonna take anything out. Just take it here. <laughs> no, but it's cool, like all this, um, things that you're really cleaning all your life you know and deciding okay this is when I was a child that makes sense now I'm not a child anymore that not makes sense you know so just take it down uh -huh. I don't know, I quite like changing around every um, certain amount of months, so it's quite nice to have something to look forward to. Um, I'm moving to David's house. David also used to live here in the warehouse and we we worked together in a, the studio. And um, he lives there with his brother and sister. It's like a really nice flat in, in the centre of Barcelona. I think I'm going to miss some of the movement and, and stuff that happens here. But then, some, you know, if you, you're out working all day and it's stressful enough as it is, it's, it's also nice to get back to peace and quiet.
David. David. Lo llamo aquí, ¿no? Te vi una lágrima. Es que sabes qué pasa, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Es como ya que me fijan porque me he pasado el verano con el tao fuera. Sí, sí. ¿Te algo? ¿A mí me hago aquí dentro? Sí, ya al Ignacio. ¿Y antes de que vin? No. Hostia, sorpresa. Claro. Me pensé guay, sí. ¿Quién se me ha dicho? Vamos a votar fuera. Vaya a pagar el mes, pero primero. ¿Quieres que entre yo primero? Sí. Yo? No sería mi yo que porque si son los primeros en efectivo. No, no, no. Si quieres ser digno, te lo acabo de ingresar. Vale. Vale. Sí, ya. Igual ya. Ya, David. 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 Ya, And the seven that we will leave and that we will continue the project. And like the, the project next year will be more about. Because this year was in, into experimenting about the way we were living and creating everything from the beginning. But we spent a lot of time on university, in works, outside. And we could do some of the things, but not like in a really radical way to, to keep working in our path. I don't have um, a date to say mm -hmm. um, I stop doing this because I'm I'm really happy with it. So for now, I think I will I will keep doing this, mm -hmm. and I'm not pretty sure it's, this is gonna be the place where we're gonna keep doing it. But um, I'm I feel really comfortable with the idea of. Um, continuing this way of life because it's it's our own way of life that we have here that it also exists in many places but I'm really happy with it. I really recommend it to, to a lot of people.